What's up guys? Today I'm going to be adjusting the ride height on my 07 WRX. I'm going to be raising it up just a little bit, not too much, just trying to make it a little more daily driver friendly. Um, it has BCBR coilover, so it's pretty easy to adjust. I'll show you how to do it. So currently the car is pretty close to the ride height where I'd like it, but I figure maybe a quarter inch more all around would make it a little more friendly for day to day use. Don't get me wrong, I am not a fan of wheel gap, but I think I have a little bit of room to play here in the back. Ah, look at that wheel gap. That just makes me sick. Anyone want to hook me up with some coilovers? This thing just does not look right at all. Oh. What I like to do before I jack the car up is just break the lug nuts free. So it's a lot easier to take the wheel off when the car's in the air. The only tools you really need for this job, besides jack and jack stands, is the spanner wrenches, which come with the BC coilover kit, or you could buy them on the website. A tape measure, or a Bernier caliper if you want to be more precise, but I can't find mine right now. And I like to use a pen and a pad just to show my before and after of the ride height settings. But that's really it. So before you make any adjustments, you need to get a good baseline reference measurement to see where you're at so you know where to go from there. I like to measure from the top of this part to the top of the gold collar here. So it looks like I'm at six and a quarter inches. One thing you never want to unlock is this bottom collar when you're adjusting the ride height. First thing you do want to unlock is the bottom collar. Now I'm going to be um, raising it up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is put my spanner wrench on this collar and twist to the right. That's going to bring this whole shock assembly upwards. So it's not as important to unlock this because if you're raising the height, it's just going to keep on going up. But if you're lowering the car, you would unlock this collar, take your larger spanner wrench, Twist to the left using the top collar, like this. That would lower the car. But for now, I'm going to try and go about a quarter inch up. And keep on measuring until I'm at about six and a half inches. As you can see, a quarter inch is actually a pretty good amount when it comes to ride height. Right on the money. All right, so I got it at six and a half inches. Now all you do is take the bottom collar, lock it down. Take the smaller spanner wrench. And tighten it up. <laughs> That's it. Maybe recheck. Let's see if we're at six and a half. 
And that is six and a half on the money. So it's the same kind of deal for the other sides and that's it. Pretty simple job. I like it. I think a quarter inch all around is all I needed. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section, and I hope this was helpful. See you guys next time. Thank you.